Hello, citizens of the internet, and welcome to the Dad's Guide to Minecraft. Let's play. Today, we're gonna do part two of our finding a woodland mansion and defeating it and pillaging it for all of its treasures and its worth. Uh, one of the harder tasks in this game is finding one of these elusive structures. So last episode, we built a house for our new cartographer. And uh, today, well, we have to go pick one up. So we're gonna go to a village we're gonna pick up a villager um, or a cartographer if there is one and bring them back to this house and start doing some trades until we get the Woodland Explorer map, which will lead us to the Woodland Mansion. And then we're gonna to go to the mansion today. And then the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take that mansion on. So if that sounds like a plan, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and grab our little boat here and uh, head off to our friendly neighborhood little Savannah village that's right on the river here and grab a villager. So I'm gonna go ahead and head that direction now and cut back when we get to the village. Okay, as we approach our village here, let's uh, go ahead and grab our boat because we will need this to uh, properly nab our villager. And uh, let's go ahead and get that ready. We don't need the clock out right now. Like that. And so we don't appear threatening. Switch to the boat. Not that that really matters, but you know. We want to approach these guys and see what we can get. Okay, there's a guy in a house there. Of course, a wandering trader. I swear those, those guys pop up all the time now. And we have a farmer over here. And we want to keep him. Yay, okay, grabbed him right away. This might be a bad location, but we're gonna go and see if we can move him over to the dock area here. See if I drop down here, I might be able to go around this house. So let's see. Yeah, steering boats on dirt. Oh, okay. Let's see, can we go around here? No, all right. So can I encourage this guy to go up here? There's like, zero to nil chance that he'll actually jump up here. He'll run back the other direction. So, um, hmm. How are we going to do this? Take too long to dig a trench. Um, well, I guess let's just see if we can get him to go up. I didn't bring any materials to, to build a little fence. So Can you go up there? Go up the hill? Not down the hill? Can you go up there? Go on. Can I shove you into the boat this way? No, you have to be even with it. Come on, go on up. Just go up there. You know you want to. Hmm, yeah. All right, let's see, oh no. Close to the edge. We're on the precipice, villager. Okay. I think this stuff is some of the funnier moments of Minecraft is trying to coerce a villager into a boat to get him to go where you want to. Because, uh, yeah, they don't often want to do what you want them to. Do you ever notice that the villagers from the, the Savannah villages have like a smock that has a creeper face on the back. I, I just noticed that it's really weird. So yeah, okay, we're back here now. Let's see if we can get this guy to go into the house that we want him to go into and see if we can get him out of here without hurting him. Okay, let's get our boat back here. Yep, that's where I want you to go in this house, but you got to go around the front, bud. There you go. Get in there. Apparently they can't open up the janky doors either. Let's see, can you get in there? Yay, look at that. Okay, that was way easier than the last time. And we have a cartographer. So let's see what his trades are. And uh, we're gonna have to level him up. I think the Woodland Explorer map is, um, you know, pretty far down. I'm not sure exactly how far. So we got a paper trade. And um, a map trade for seven emeralds for a map. That's not a great trade, but um, you know what we do have? We do have paper. So I'm going to go grab some paper. I'll be back and uh, we'll start trading away. 
Okay, I got paper, so let's go ahead and uh, trade this guy. See how they bring up their little emeralds thing? Yeah, I'll give you money for that. So let's see if we can get this guy to advance. Um, and hopefully it won't take too much here. I did bring all of our emeralds that we have available to us. Okay, there we go. Let's see if his trades drop in price a little bit too. Okay, all right, let's see what he has. He's got um, 12 emeralds and a compass for an ocean explorer map. I think the next one is the woodland explorer map. So we do have, oh my God, we have a ton of glass so we can totally do this glass trade. And he didn't drop price at all. So let's go ahead and um, let's go grab those glass panes. I've been, it's funny cause I was thinking, you know, eventually I'm gonna want to do like maybe an underwater build. And so I've been making tons and tons of glass over here. Um, as you can see and tons of steak too if we need it uh, you know what let's just top off get a full stack of steak but let's go ahead and make some glass panes really quick I like having crafting tables everywhere too uh, yeah that's that's gonna be plenty I don't think he will uh, trade all of those in one shot but that's okay that's a good trade for us we can definitely trade tons of glass panes for emeralds I like that one okay let's see here do glass panes. Yes, I will take that, sir. Okay, we got him level up to the next level. Let's see if we get ocean ex or the woodland explorer map. Woodland explorer map. Twelve emeralds and a compass. Um, hmm. You know what? I don't have a compass on me, but I know where there is one. Uh, right here. So, uh, yeah, I'll replace that eventually. Hey, let's see here. We got compass and 12 emeralds. Woodland Explorer map. Sweet. All right, let's see what the damage is on this baby. Um, where is it? This might be way off. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess that shows. Oh, that's the. Oh, that's where the. I was like, is that our our house? So we are a tiny dot up in the corner. So it looks like it is to the west and slightly south, or maybe way south of us. We don't know because of just the way that this um the dot. I think the dot gets bigger when you get within a you know like a hundred blocks or something like that. Um, I forget when it gets into a, a larger size, but this could be, this could be way off. So, um, I think what we're going to do is go to sleep like, like our little man here. And, uh, then in the morning we're going to go exploring and see what we can find. Okay. I think what we're going to do is since it looks like it's by water on the map, see, so you, you can see the outline of the coast right there, the striped parts water. Um, I think we're going to take the waterways down to the big ocean and see where we end up on the map. If we start dropping down towards the south, uh, we know that we are pretty much even with it. But if we don't show up so uh, doing that for a while, we might have to go a ways south uh, before we get there. And we haven't traveled south on the ocean yet, so this will be kind of cool. So I think what we're going to do is a, a little travel montage as I'm moving around here. I uh, just want to point out that I did remember to get my bed this time. And, uh, oh, hello. And we will, um, I will cut back if anything interesting happens. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Squid. Jeez, how rude. This must be a bed that I left here before. Um, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Totally forgot. I must have, uh, this would have been like my first exploring thing. And then there's my trash bin of stuff that I didn't want. Um, yeah, so cool. I got another bed. And you notice because I haven't loaded this chunk, um, and, like, geez, I don't know, like a month. Um, all that stuff that I dropped in there is still in there because as long as the chunk's not loaded, uh, the five minute rule doesn't apply. So it won't despawn. On servers, uh, they they do despawn, but on a single player world, um, you don't have to worry about it. So cool. I have to remember to come back to these icebergs with my silk touch pickaxe and um, grab some of this ice because we could use this in not only our zombie farm, but um, can't go this way, but also make an ice road in the nether. 
So if we want to link some of these further away places together, we can do that. Oh, there's a ship over here in the ice. Uh, let's let's not stop and look at that though. All right, let's keep exploring. Oh, look at this. We got a flower forest island. That's not too far away from um, the base either. That's really cool. I wonder if there are um, any bees nests up there. They wouldn't be out right now because it's nighttime, but there might be some in there. They spawn more frequently in flower forests. Oh, and an ocean monument. We're going to have to stay away from that thing. We don't want we don't get hit by guardians. But that's actually, this might be a cool place to come back to. This might be a good ocean monument uh, conversion area with the flower forest right next to it. That'd be neat. Okay, we've been going south for a while now. Let's go ahead and check the map and uh, see uh, where we're at. Oh, um, okay, okay, well, all right, cool. Um, we are far enough, we actually shot past it going south. So now we need to go just west and maybe a little bit back north. Let's see. This is still that giant ocean. It's, it's enormous. Um, not very wide. I, I can get across it pretty easily at different points, but it's definitely uh, to the north and to the south very, very long. This is still, just so you know, this is still the first night. So we haven't even gone a full 24 hours yet since we left the house. It's nightfall. Not the best time to be traveling around here. With all the mobs and stuff. And I don't have, um, I don't have a shield on me, which was unfortunately short-sighted on my part, but you know what I can do? I can drop a bed down here and try to go to sleep. And then get up and hopefully get out of here before a creeper comes and blows me up. All right, looks good. All right, and we'll just keep heading west. Oh, look at this. Got a, a really cool village right on the water. It's a desert village with a taiga biome right behind it. Um, but it's, it's right on the water. That's really cool. Let's go check it out. We are still just a tiny little dot though, so we've got a long ways to go. That's why, that's a library, that's why I, um, you know, this is one episode by itself because it can take forever. Sometimes these woodland mansions are, you know, tens of thousands of blocks away. That is a hole in the middle. Of, <laughs> that's really weird. Um, be careful guys, don't fall down there. Has some grass growing in this little house. Another cartography place. Lots of villagers here. No chests. Yeah, geez. It's pretty uh, pretty devoid of uh, any kind of loot. Where's the entrance to this house? I was like, <laughs> I didn't see the door. I was like looking around like, what the heck? Did it spawn with no door? That's crazy. Smoker. Man, there's like no chests in here. Oh, here we go. Woo, lots of bread. I'll leave my cactus there. And over here I saw a uh, desert well, which you don't see those too often. Those are those are a pretty rare find too. There's nothing to them. It'd be cool if they actually made these where there was uh, something underneath, uh, you know, an occasional one. Kind of like um, how the uh, igloos, sometimes the igloos spawn with, uh, uh, something underneath it, like a like that kind of hidden place that has the the villager and the zombie villager that you can cure, and sometimes they don't. It'd be cool if they had um, a way for those like rare structures like that to spawn 
and have something. So I guess we're gonna go through our little woodlands here and keep exploring. We've been walking through a giant tree taiga or sometimes called mega taiga for a while now. And they're marked by these uh, mossy cobblestone kind of formations every once in a while. Uh, lots and lots of mushrooms, these giant uh, trees. Like you can grow these uh, when you put like spruce um, with, you know, four by like two by two for a four formation. And uh, they just grow up really tall along with potzel occurring naturally and some of these shrubs and also uh, coarse dirt. So it's a, it's a cool uh, biome to find stuff and use for uh, gathering materials that you might need. But I'm really hoping that we run into a village here at some point in time because I love uh, the, the aesthetics of the taiga villages. But um, the only one we run into so far was the, hi wolf, was the um, one that was a zombie village. And oh, here's a fox right here too, cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I love the aesthetics of it. It's it, as you can tell from the, like my building style, I, I like matching the spruce logs with the cobblestone and the dark woods and, and stuff. But now it looks like we're into a plane. So, um, or maybe there is a village up here. Oh, look at that. It's a taiga village. That's appeared into a plains area. I, I actually, I do like when they overlap like that. I, I do think it's kind of cool, but yeah, look at it. I mean, I just, I don't know. I think they're pretty and I, I like the the skins on the villagers for this uh, build too. They're, they they look a little bit more hardy than uh, some of the other ones. So yeah, but this is cool. This is like a little A-frame building it looks like. There's, um, I think that's a weaponsmith or a toolsmith right there with the eye patch. I think it's weaponsmith. Okay, this is a mason's setup here. Let's see what you got. Yep, weaponsmith. Anything in here? Hey, I'll take it. Actually, once again, let's go ahead and just grab the, the chest. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. He was like, oh man, you robbed me. Was there anything upstairs? That's cool. I haven't seen that before like that. That's neat. This one has an upstairs. Oh, this is that one that has like, I, I dug underneath it thinking there was something down here and there was nothing. It was just on kind of on a stock. Uh, there's a nitwit villager. So those are the uh, kind of like the villagers who can't pick up a profession. They just kind of like wander around. Uh, other villagers, when they're unemployed, just have kind of like that normal brown kind of coat or just like a standard kind of coats. Um, but uh, nitwits will never pick up anything new, any new professions. Uh, you know, I'll take the wood because I can use the wood uh, for a crafting table when we get to the to the um, Willow Mansion. I might actually take the sweet berries too, just so we have a quick crop we can grow if we need food. I was hoping for one of those armor stands because I, I do think those are one of the cooler designs of a, a build. Let's see, another thing I like about the Taiga Villages is they're huge. I don't know what it is about the way that they, um, there's another two other weapon smiths. Oh, excuse me, guys. Oh, good iron pants. I need those. Take that. I've gotten 18 iron so far just from raiding villages and 30 pieces of bread. We'll leave the trees here. You know what, actually we'll leave um, one set because we don't need to be too greedy on those, but I think my pants are going to break here pretty soon along with my uh, boots in here. And also they have great loot too. I just, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of these uh, Taiga villages. Yeah, and I'll leave, I'll leave some of this other stuff. I am going to grab the emerald because it's an emerald and emeralds are cool. Hopefully Mojang continues to add um, more village types because I think if they did um, a swamp village, like an official swamp village, and uh, also a, a jungle village, and maybe, maybe even one for uh, each type of... Um, uh, each type of like biome would be pretty cool. I mean, not the microbiomes like, you know, taiga hills versus taiga versus giant tree taiga, that kind of stuff. You don't, you don't need uh, all the different, uh, different types of villages. Oh, <laughs> am I disturbing you? Hello? <laughs> um, taking a bath uh, in your clothes? You are a nitwit. 
Uh, you're not you're not the the smoker guy though. All right, let's see. That was embarrassing for both of us. Yeah, I'm telling you. I mean, look at this. We've gotten just a massive amounts of uh, chests in here. So I'm I'm liking these so far way better than the. And there should be tons of weaponsmiths around. So if there's more villagers, um, if they keep on breeding, they'll they'll come over here and uh, pick up these workstations. Like I said, sometimes they these will spawn with uh, armor stands in them, and that's that's pretty cool because they have sometimes full sets of armor or different different um, you know types of armor. It's really cool. So did we hit everything in this village? I don't think so. Look at those guys, have, they're having a good time. Just jumping around. There's another nitwit. Don't need the potatoes. Grab the sweet berries. Grab the wood. Oh, and the bread too. I think I may actually spend the night here. Oh, look, here's a little campfire just sitting out by itself. I could grab that actually. I have my silk touch uh, pickaxe, but it, um, yeah, let's go ahead and grab that. We can take that with us too if we need to cook some food on the way. And I think these are the last uh, couple houses here. So let's see what we got. Um, cartographer's house. Uh, some paper. Uh, leave that. Take the bread. What do we have up here? This is a leather worker's house. Okay, leather armor. Don't need that. And I don't think I have, did I go, yeah, that's the cartographer's. Did I go in this one? Nope, oh, that's neat, a little chair. Um, huh. You know what, I might stay in the little chair house tonight because that's, that's kind of cute. Eh, can't really sit down. That'd be something cool to add if, they, if you could sit down in chairs. I would like that. So you can kind of chill out in your little house. Um, but um, I'm gonna go to sleep and then keep exploring tomorrow. Oh, uh, cool, we just finished night six and our little indicator on our map just got bigger. So we're getting closer. I'm not sure how far away, but we're definitely getting closer. Actually, let's put the boat down and head this direction now. All right, we're coming up on Dark Oak Forest. This is where the Woodland Mansion would appear. So let's keep our eyes open. Hopefully it's not too far away from here. But we've been going through a swamp for a long time, so it'd be really cool if it was right here. This was a, a big forest too. Oh yep, look, we're on the map. Oh, there it is. You can barely see it in the distance. Let's go over this way. Ah, oh, of course this doesn't go all the way through. But there it is. Our woodland mansion. Wow, look at that. That's pretty cool how it has like that uh, huge foundation like that. It's really up in the air. You forget how big these structures are until you see one up close. I mean, that's, that is enormous. This looks pretty cool. I like how it's like kind of up in the air with this like almost moat around it. Well above all of the surrounding materials. Let's go see if we can find the front door. All right, here's the front door. It's got a giant mushroom right in front of it. That is pretty sweet. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to retreat to a little safe area back here and build a shield because I will absolutely need a shield for this adventure. But I think we're, oh my gosh, look at this. A pillager outpost right here too. I wonder if there's a village nearby. That would be really cool to have all three right here together. This is this is a neat section over this direction. I like it. So wow, you got a pillager outpost that's like say it's on the bay and it's guarding the the Woodland Mansion, which is um, inhabited by uh, illagers. Uh, that's pretty cool. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to set up a maybe camp out here like this. Uh, maybe I'll make a little structure for myself 
And um, this will be our temporary base uh, when we go in and attack the Woodland Mansion and take it over. And I think we're going to end the episode here. So if you like what you've seen and would like to see more from the Dad's Guide channel, please click that subscribe button, smash that notification bell so you don't miss an upcoming episode. And if you've liked this exploration video, uh, please leave a like. Uh, it really helps the channel grow. And if you have any ideas on how to tackle this monstrosity behind me next episode, leave those suggestions in the comments below. But until next time, bye for now.